I ain't quitting the team. Oh, man, what Papa said. I'll talk to him when he gets back. He went down there to see about your Uncle Gabe. The police arrested him. He said he was disturbing the police. Give me back the record. Come on in here and help me with these cuffs.
say it, I don't measure up. That's what you sound trying to say. You saying I don't measure up because I'm seeing that other gal. That's what you're trying to say. You know what to you? I'm trying to say I don't want to see you mess up. It wasn't like I was out there looking for nothing. I just. I can't find a better one than road. This, this guy just stuck on me, and hell, I can't shake it loose. <laughs> well, I can wrestle with it, and they tried to throw her off me. Now she just stuck on top. Look like now, hell, she stuck on me. You was in control. What the hell, woman? You're responsible for what you do. Now, I ain't ducking the responsibility. As long as it's set right in my heart, then I'm okay, because that's all I listen to. And I ain't talking about doing roads no bad turn I love roads. She was carrying me a long way, I love and respect her. What would you do? That's why I don't want to see you hurt up. Now what you gonna do when she find out? What you gonna do then? Hell, if you try to jump off of them, sooner or later you're gonna drop one of them. That's common sense. Hell, I don't know what I'm gonna do, hold on. Just Try to figure a way to work it out. We'll work it out right, Trent. I, I, I don't want to be getting all up in your roads. This is good.
Detroit. You ain't mad at me. The, the man, man come to uh, put me away. You ain't mad at me. Uh, okay, 18 mad. years and you want to come with this. Hey, look, look what I got. I got a brand new quarter, bro. Ain't nothing you should say, Troy. Ain't no way of explaining that. I'm going to give me this quarter. I had a whole mess up. I'm going to keep this quarter till it stops shining. Okay. <laughs> I got some water now in the fridge there. You go in the house there and you get your piece. Say, Ro, when, when I'm facing them hellhounds and, and then the bad man come and put me away, mm -hmm. Troy, he helped me. He came down there and said, they better let me go, or he gonna beat him up. Yeah, he did. He's going in the house and it's water now. The bad men, they gone now. Okay, well, I I'm gonna give you some water now. The, the kind with the stripes on. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Troy? Why? After all these years, come dragging this into me now. It don't make no sense at your age. I could expect this 10 or 15 years ago, but not now. It ain't got nothing to do with it, Rose. I done tried to be everything a wife should be. Everything a wife could be. I've been married 18 years, and I got to live to see the day that you tell me that you're seeing another woman and I'm father a child wife. And you know, I ain't never want no half of nothing in my family. My whole family's half. Everybody got a different father and mother. My two sisters and my brother. I can't hardly tell who's who. They never sit down and talk about Papa and Mama. It's always your Papa and your Mama and my Papa and my Mama. Oh, stop it! And you know I ain't never wanted that for none of my children. Now you want to drag your behind in here and tell me something like this? You want to know, woman, it's time for you to Well, I don't want to know, God damn it! I can't just make it go away, woman. I can't wish the circumstance of it. And you don't want to either. Maybe you want to wish us away. Maybe that's what you want. You can't wish us away. I got 18 years of my life invested in you. You should have stayed upstairs in my bed where you belong. Now listen. Give me your hand on this thing. You come to an understanding. You talk this thing out. All of a sudden, it's we. Where was we at when you was rolling around with some god forsaken woman? We should have got an understanding before you made a damn fool of yourself. When you are day day and a job of the world. Understanding about myself, I can step outside of this house and get away from the pressures and the problems. I ain't got to wonder how I'm gonna pay the bills, how I'm gonna get the roof fixed. I can just be a part of myself, I ain't never been. All I wanna know is, are you gonna continue to see her? That's all you can say to me. Rose, I can sit up in the house and laugh. I can laugh out loud and it feels good. It's all the way down to the bottom of my shoes. Rose. Can you get that up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you ought to go on down there and stay with her. She a better woman than you. It ain't about nobody being a better woman than nothing, Rose. Maybe we find a better wife to be there. You're not responsible for it. You're not to blame. I'm responsible for it. Hell, I done fell into a stuff of having to try to take care of you all. I done forgot about myself. What the hell was I there for? That was my responsibility, not somebody else's. Strikes on you before you come to the plate. You got to guard it close to you. Always looking for that curveball on the inside. Can't afford to let them get by. Can't afford to call strength. When you go down, you got to go down swimming. Everything lined up against you, what you gonna do? I fool you, Rose. I bought it. When I found you boy in a halfway decent job, I was safe. Couldn't nothing touch me. I wasn't going to strike him. I wasn't going back to the penitentiary. I wasn't going to lay up the street with a bottle of wine. I was safe. And had me family, a job, standing on first base, looking for one of them boys to knock me in, to get me home. You should have stayed in my bed for it. When I saw that gal, she burned up my back. And I started thinking that after 18 years, 
If I try, I just might be able to steal second. You should have grabbed it. Understand? Held on for 18 it. years, I wanted to steal it. second. Held I thought to myself, I stood on first base for 18 years. I said, God damn it, go for it, Detroit. We ain't talking about no baseball. We talking about you laying with another woman and then bring it home to me. That's what we talk. We ain't talking about no baseball. Oh, you do not listen to me. Try my best to explain it to me. It ain't easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. I've been standing with you. I've been standing right here with you, Troy. I gave you 18 years of my life to stand in the same spot with you. I got a life too. <coughs> you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think I had hopes and dreams? What about me? What about my life? Don't you think it ever crossed my mind that I want to know other men? That I wanted to lay up and forget about my responsibilities? That I wanted someone to make me laugh so that I could feel good?
after all this time, you want to talk to me, huh? You ain't want to talk to me for months. You didn't want to talk to me last night. Now you didn't want to talk to me then. What you want to talk to me about now? Tomorrow is Friday. I know the day tomorrow is. You think I know tomorrow is Friday? All my life, but I ain't done nothing to live to see Friday coming. Now you got to tell me it's Friday. I want to know if you're coming home after work. Always come home, Rose. You know that ain't never been a night I ain't come home. That ain't what I mean. You know it. I want to know if you're coming straight home after work. Figure I'll cash my check. Maybe hang out with Taylor the board, have plenty of game check. Troy, I can't live like this. I won't live like this. You live on borrowed time with me. It's been going on six months now, and you ain't been coming home. I be home every night, woman. Every night of the year, 365 days. I want you to come home tomorrow after work. Rose, I don't mess up my pay. I take my pay, I give it to you. I ain't got no money for what you give me back. Just need some time to assess. A little time to just enjoy. So what about me? What about my time to enjoy myself? I don't know what to tell you, bro. Doing the best I can. You ain't been here long enough to run in here and change your clothes and run out, and you want to say that's the best you can do? I'm going to the hospital to see Albert. She went to the hospital this afternoon. Look like, she, look like she might have that baby early. I won't be gone long. Well, you ought to know, they went over Miss Pearls and got Gabe. They said, you said, take them and lock them up. Mm -hmm. I ain't said nothing to the cop. Whoever said that's telling a lie. Pearl ain't doing nothing to telling a big fat lie. She didn't have to tell me. I read it on the papers. I ain't said nothing of the sort. I seen it on the papers. What did say, huh? said, you said, take them. Did they screw that up just like they screw up everything? I, I, I know it's saying that there. Said the governor said they part to check the hospital and the other part to you. I ain't got nothing to do with that how that's how it works. I ain't made up the rules about how it works. You did Gabe just like you did Coral. You wouldn't sign the papers for Coral. But you signed it for Gabe. You signed those papers. But I didn't sign nothing. The only thing I signed was the release form. Hell, I can't read. I don't know what to say on that paper. I ain't signed nothing about sending Gabe away. I said send him to the hospital. No, you said let him be free. Now you done went down there and signed him to the hospital for half his money. You went back on your word for it. You don't have to answer. See, now you been down there talking to that damn Miss Pearl. She done got mad because she didn't get that rent money no more. That's all for this. She's liable to say everything. You signed those papers. You ain't seen nothing I signed, woman. You ain't seen nothing I signed. What the hell she doing got papers on my brother for anyway? Damn Pearl, I'm about to tell her about it. Next time I said, tell her about it too. You ain't seen nothing I signed, woman. You ain't seen nothing I signed.
And then when the top of your list say Troy Maxson, then you come around here and you knock on the front door. This ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. This is between you and me, man to man. You stay on the other side of that fence until you ready for me. Then you come on and you knock on the front door. Anytime you want, I'll be ready for you! Daughter Rose. I can't deny no more than I can deny them boys. You and them boys is my family. You and them boys and this child here is all I got to know. So I guess what I'm saying is. Child's innocent. And I'll take care of it because the child's innocent. Can't blame the sins of the father on the child. <clears throat> Motherless child has got a, got a hard time. Right now, this 
child has a mother. And you, you a womanless man. <laughs> Going out. Going down to the church. Lions came by. He stopped by to pay you twenty dollars and sit on the table. Here goes his money. Set on the table out here. What time you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> no need to study me. Don't matter what time I get back. Well, I just asked a question. I can't ask you a question. Troy, I don't want to get into it. Your dinner is on the stove. All you have to do is heat it up. Don't be eating those cakes in there. I'm coming back for him. Going down to the church. The bank's in.
joy. Hey, what's happening, Mom? Hey, I just thought I'd stop by and see you. Stop by and see you, huh? I ain't seen you in a month of Sundays. Hell, I was over for some money or something. Well, since you got your promotion, I can keep up with you. I used to see you every day, and then I don't even know about you work. Keep on switching me around, man. You got me down to Green Tree now. On the white folk dog. Green Tree, huh? Oh, shit. You know, hey, you lucky, man. At least you ain't got to be lifted in the barrels no more, man. Damn it, they ain't getting heavier. No, I'm put my two years in the car. Quit. Yeah. Think about the time. But you got it easy. Cause you do the drive for for another five years. Oh, it ain't the same, Bono. Ain't nothing like working the back of that truck. Nah, it's almost like you working by yourself. See. She all right. You know, her all right used to be getting that number sometimes. I saw Rose on my way in. She uh, headed down to the church. Huh? Yeah, she took up going on down there. All them preachers is just looking at people up, lying their pockets with their money. <laughs> got some gin here. Oh, look, no, no, no. I, I just stopped by to say hello. Maybe you could take a drink, but you ain't got to. Go nowhere to work. <laughs> I ain't never known you to turn down a drink. I'll just stop by. I'm fixing to head down with Skittles. We, we got some domino game going over in the South every Friday. Well, you can't play no domino town. I used to whoop you back. That's what I learned. I'm going to get better. That's good, boy. Stop by Stuff. 
Now why don't you just get out of my way? Yeah. Yes, you got some place to stay and something to eat. Because that's what you need. You got me? You got that boy because that's what you need. You ain't got to worry about what I got. <coughs> you don't know what I got. You want to hunt you. Well, I said, right, boy. I done spent the last 17 years worried about what you got. Now show me. Tell me what you can do. Oh, you know you're wrong. You look stabbed that you were mad, huh? So you were mad, now go on and get your own house. You will turn your behind around and walk out into the alley. When you get out into the alley, you can forget about this house, because this is my house. Go on and get on out of here and forget about this house, because this is my Go on and get your own since you're grown, because I'm through doing it for you. You're just talking about what you do for me. What have you ever given me? The beaten bones, man! Pump the heart you got! I done gave you more than anybody ever gonna give you. No, you ain't never gave me nothing. You ain't never done nothing but hold me back, afraid I was gonna be better than you. All you ever did was try to make me scared. He used to tremble every time I heard your voice calling my name. Every time I heard those footsteps coming through the house. I always wonder, well, what's Pop gonna say if I do this? Well, what's Pop going to say if I do that? Well, what's Pop going to say if I turn on the radio? And Mama, too. She tries, but, but she's real scared of you. You think your mama has. She ain't got nothing to do with this. I don't see how she can stand it. I don't told you leave your mama out of this. What you going to do? You going to give me a whooping? You can't whoop me no more. You too old. Get up! That's all you are to me. Just another nigga out there in the street to me. You crazy though, you know that? You a crazy old man. Well, go on from around with you got the devil in me. You a crazy old man talking about I got the devil in me. Yeah, I'm crazy. You gonna get your black ass on the other side of that yard and show you how crazy I am. This ain't so young. He took the money Uncle Dave got from the army to buy this house. Then you put him out. Get your black ass out my yard!
not going to grow overnight. You got to wait. It don't look like you're never going to grow, Dad. A watch pot never grows. You just got to wait. This ain't even no pot, Mama. You just got to give it time. It'll grow. Now you come on in here and do what I told you. This ain't no more to be playing around now. We gotta get ready. You hear? Yes, ma'am.
learn to deal with it just like anything else. You gotta take the crooked with the straight. You know that's what Pablo used to say? He used to say that when he struck out. You know I seen Papa strike out three times in a row. And then the next time up, he hit the ball over the grandstand, right there in Homestead Field. Now see, he wasn't satisfied with hitting the ball in the seats. He wanted to hit it over everything. After the game, he had 200 people standing around waiting to shake his hand. You got to take the crook with the strength. Yeah, pop something else. So, uh, you still playing? Corey, now you know I'm going to do that, baby. <laughs> Swinging that bat. I was just getting ready to go in the house. He swung the bat and fell over. <coughs> Seemed like he stood there and he had this grin on his face, and then he just swung the bat and fell over. <coughs> he carried him on down to the hospital, but <coughs> I knew it wasn't that good. Why don't you come on in the house? Well, Mom, I've got something to tell you. I don't know how to tell you this, but I've got to tell you.
Just take it and put it on the shelf and forget it. Disrespecting your dad is not going to make you a man whore. You have to come into that on your own. Not going to your daddy's funeral is not going to make you a man. The whole time I was growing up, living in his house, Papa was like a shadow that followed you everywhere. Weighed on you and sunk into your flesh. It'll wrap around you, lay there until you couldn't tell which one was you anymore. That shadow trying to dig in you, trying to crawl, then you trying to live through you. Everywhere I go, Joy Max was staring right back at me. Under my bed, inside my closet. I'm just saying that I've got to get rid of that shadow, Mama. <coughs> just like it. You got to get rid of it. Good. Don't tell me that, Mama. Troy Maxim all over me. Well, I don't want to be Troy Maxim, Mama. I want to be me. You can't be nobody but who you are, Troy. That shadow was nothing but you growing into yourself. You either got to grow into it or <coughs> cut it down to fit you. That's all you got to make life with. That's all you got to measure yourself against the world out there. Your daddy wanted you to be everything he wasn't, and at the same time, he tried to make you into everything he was. I don't know if he was right or wrong, but I do know that he meant to do more good than he meant to do harm. He wasn't always right. Sometimes when he touched, he bruised, and when he took me in his arms, he, he cut. When I first met the daddy, I said, he is a man that I can lay down with and make a baby. That's the first thing I thought when I seen him. I was 30 years old, and I didn't see my share man. And the little daddy walked up to me and said, I can dance you a waltz that will make you dizzy. <coughs> I said, Rosalie, <laughs> here's a man that you can just open yourself up to and just feel the person. Here's a man that can fill all of the <clears throat> spaces that you've been tipping around the edges of. One of the empty spaces, and somebody's mother. I married your dad and settled down and started cooking his meals and keeping clean sheets on the bed. And your daddy walked through the house. He was so big, he just, he just filled it up. And that was my first mistake. Not to make him leave the room for me. For my part in the matter. But at the time, I wanted it. I wanted a house that I could sing in, and that's what your daddy gave me. I didn't know that to keep up his life, I had to give up little pieces of mine. I took on his life as though it was mine and started mixing the pieces until I couldn't tell which was which anymore. I didn't have to do that, but that was my choice. <laughs> That's what life offered me in the way of a woman, and I took it. I grabbed it with both hands. By the time <coughs> Raynell came in the house, me and your daddy done lost touch with one another. I didn't want to make my blessings off somebody else's misfortune. I took on Raynell like she was all those babies I wanted and never had. Like I just did. Blessed be you. Lord, give me strength. I'm going to do her just like your daddy did you. I'm going to give her the best of what's in me. Blue tree to 
possum in a hollow log. You know from that he was a good old dog. It rained. It rained. Blue tree the possum, I don't know what. Blue looked at me and I looked at him. Grabbed that possum and put him in a sack. Blue stayed there till I came back. Old Blue's feet was big and round. Never allowed a possum <coughs> to touch the ground. Now Old Blue died and I dug his grave. I dug his grave with a silver spade. Let him down. With a golden chain. And every night I call his name. Go blue, you good dog, you. Go blue, you good dog, you. Take it away. Blue it down and die like a man. Blue it down and die. Blue lay down and die like a man. Not shit possums in the prime man's slam. I'm gonna tell you this to let you know. Blue's gone where the good dogs go. When I hear old blue bark, when I hear old blue bark, blue tree the possum and Noah's up. Blue tree the possum and Noah's up. Boy, gotta get ready and go. Now you gonna put those shoes on like Mama told you, so you can be ready. Okay, I'll be back. That's the way that goes. <laughs>